All right, this is Eric, uh, Eric Kudla from the NHHI. I'm here with Chris Tidwell of FAST. We're actually here in uh, Washington, Utah, but it's uh, St. Uh, St. George. St. George, kind of, kind of Washington. It was kind of interesting driving out here. But uh, so I just wanted to get, we're checking in. I haven't been able to be here. I'm always, you know, uh, passed by at the wrong time. So um, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about uh, FAST? I mean, uh, when did you guys start? I know you're based out of Southern California. You moved to Utah. So when did you guys start and kind of what gave you the idea? So Cole and I, Cole started the company in 1998, and him and I had known each other through his amateur motocross racing, and I would work at the dealership that he was sponsored by, and we got to know each other. So he offered me an opportunity to come help him grow this business. I was just getting ready to graduate college. I said, you know what, if I'm gonna try something new, and take a risk, let's go do this now. And so that was in 1999, and we've been at it ever since. Um, so it's been a long, uh, wasn't an overnight success by any means. Yeah, absolutely. So we've developed products that typically nobody else has had on the market, so it's always been a struggle. So we invent a product, we develop a product, and then we have to tell people, well, this is why we did it. Why, and why you need it. And that's out of it. So, so I know, um, for me, getting, I mean, I've written for Fast for eight years, six Long years, time. something like that. So, um, but when I first got on, I mean, it was kind of a hard sell, but even, but, but having to, Having they had me ride with them, and that's what made me. It was the selling point. So, how often do you? I mean, how often is it like ride with them, and then you'll see that there's that why? Pretty much, you know, the first uh, the first four or five years, there was a lot of grassroots sales, meaning we had to get one guy to try them. He was stoked, and then he would tell his buddies, and then they'd sell three, four more. Yeah. Um, so the first, yeah, first three, four, five years, that's how it was. It took somebody to try them, then they realized how good they were, and then they told all their friends. So being that we've been on the market with the Flex Handlebars for 14 years now, um, that, it doesn't take as much educating on our part because they're already coming to us with a vast amount of knowledge from our customers or who now are doing most of selling for us. So we don't have to convince them that they work. They usually yeah. call us knowing that they've talked to enough people, they've read their reviews, they know that if they spend the money on time, yep. I, you know, either finally my wrist is bothering me enough to where I just have to have it. I mean, that's why I run with the fastest because I've got a really, really bad wrist. But I mean, on top of that, it's just comfortable riding with it. But, but people just, you know, kind of, now I need it. I really need to get on it. Um, so the next thing I want to ask you is, is, is you guys support pretty much all off-road, um, east coast to west coast, and I believe internationally as well. Um, how many riders would you say are on your roster officially? Well, I'm definitely not the private person to ask that because I handle more of the day-to-day -day yeah. operations. But as far as uh, our market share, we go to events. If you go to a works race, we have about 95% market share on the ATV line. Oh, wow. We're probably close to probably 50, 60% on the motorcycle side. And you see that same transition going back east as UNCC. We're super heavy in the ATV market still, and even our um, the motorcycle side of it is growing as well. Yeah. So percentage-wise, I say at any at any race, we can have fifty percent of those guys out there at some at some class running our product yeah. across um, the board. Across uh, the board, C riders, D riders, A riders, and that's one thing that I noticed with you guys more than anything is you support and you know either pit for or you know cheer on everyone, yeah. not just the three pro guys. It's yeah. everybody from across all skill levels. So we've noticed that like, you know, a lot of these big companies are paying the top athletes to endorse their product. If you look at anybody like a, you know, a Destry Abbott, um, so any of these other top off-roaders, they're running the product because it works, not because yeah. we're, we're writing a big check to them every month. Yeah. Um, so they are able to honestly and truthfully tell anybody that asks, hey, what do you think about those flex bars? And they can give an off, they, they work. I wouldn't yeah. be using them if they did. Exactly. So that's helped spread out to the, uh, the, the C-class riders, the vet riders, um, and you know, our target market is, guy that's in his early 30s to 70s that's had past wrist injuries, carpal tunnel syndrome, short arm pump, um, arm pump, yeah. anything like that where they've been on, they've been riding motorcycles for years and years and years and now they're just, they're sore, they're tired, that's the guy we're looking for. And once we get that person on the product, they'll never run anything. Yeah, exactly. I, I can tell, I can attest to that because I have had been on teams and things like that that don't run them. And I know that's the first thing I'm waiting to get is back on my bike with my bars. And that's, you know, that's, that's what I love about Fast is it's, it's a product that it's not just like a, 
swing arm bolt that you're like, well, this, this swing arm bolt's great. It's like, no, this, I want, even if, even if they're not supporting me, I want to ride this product. It's something that I have to have on my bike. I mean, when I do a bike test for any, any uh, magazine or dirt bike test, that's the first thing I do is I put my bars on there. Oh, yeah. And that's part of it. You know, suspension settings, my bars. And so definitely, I know I, I'm a fast, um, fast guy at heart, or the company, I mean, but uh, anyways, um, let's see. Uh, so you've recently moved to Utah. Well, not recently, but in the later part of your uh, 14 years, you yep. moved to Utah. So tell us a little bit about your move out here. So the move happened in 2010. It just got to a point where we were, you know, we've always dreamed of having a building where we can ride out of our back door. And in Long Beach, California, that was not going to happen. Yeah. So there was a point in my personal life where I was like, you know what, this is a good time. My wife and I were, we had two brand new babies. We're like, you know, who's gonna stay home when they're sick type of thing. And we both had good jobs. We didn't want to, neither one of us could quit a job. So I just said, hey, you know, let's, let's go look at Utah again. So we came back out here in 2010 and said, let's do it. Just, I came here, I came my mind up. Yeah. We put our house for sale in California and it, was, it sold after four days and I'm like, well, man, this is here it's for real now. Yeah. So that was in 2010, and I couldn't. I'm, we haven't looked back. Um, Cole came out in 2012, so it took him about two years, and he, he moved out here. And then uh, late 2012, early 2013, we, we built this building, and we found a spot that backs right up to BLM land. Yeah. And we've got single track trails that head out to some of the best riding in, in Southern Utah. Yeah, and uh, so yearly, we, I always see on the board, or I see on the internet, and, and uh, I'm usually invited, but I can never make it. You guys only have a fast yep. ride. So is that something um, that's an annual thing that you guys do every year? So tell us a little bit about that if you can. Yeah, that's, that, we, that was the Friends of Fast ride. So we had a, a three-year three run, and it coincided with the um, Enduro Cross finale in Vegas. Okay. So since they don't do that, Round anymore, and it's just kind of like March or whatever. Yeah. Month it was November. November. Okay. So that round doesn't happen. So it was really in November when that race happened. It was easy to get all the pro guys from Vegas. It's a short sure. drive. Yeah. yeah. Short drive. They come up here. We did a fifty mile loop, catered lunch. Yeah. Um, come back here. We have you know refreshments and hot dogs after the race or after the ride. And so we are looking at. A, at an event that's not sure we had it, we had 75 guys leave the shop. Holy cow. It was crazy. Yeah. I mean, the street was lined. People, all the other businesses were like, what is going yeah. on? There's motorcycles ripping down the street. Yeah. But it was like, people came back with ear to ear grants. We have some really incredible riding right out of our back door. And to show our dealers, our customers, and some of our athletes that we sponsor why we moved here, that's why we do that ride. So we're going to definitely plan something. But being that we're six hours from Southern yeah, California yeah. from anything, <laughs> we really have to kind of tie that into an event. So yeah. we're it's it's on our radar. We're looking at events. We're going to try and do something um, either this year or next year and try and bring that tradition back. It's awesome. always a fun time for us. Awesome. So on that note, um, you have a uh, you hire mostly off road guys yeah. and and riders. Yep. How many of the people on your staff actually ride? Uh, 100%. 100% of your staff rides. They yeah. all yeah. race too. Uh, yes. yes, I would say I probably race the least now, but uh, <laughs> everybody is either currently racing or has raced at a, a decent level at some point. And would you life. say that that's like a prerequisite? Kind of, um, kind of. Kind of, because we always feel that we're a core motorcycle company. Yeah. When I say core, meaning the people that work here are actually riding and use the products that we yeah. sell. That's what you're here for. That's what we're it's here to for. Develop, to develop the product, not just to sell it, but to develop it and make it. Good product. And everybody that works here can give an honest, an honest opinion and honest feedback of our product because they have first-hand experience. We're not just flipping through a catalog, taking orders over the phone. We're actually using the product. We have the terrain right in our backyard of the test. Um, so yeah, everybody, it's not a requirement, but yeah. it usually just ends up It just way. ends up yeah. especially because you, you know Skyler, you know Colt, or you know these different guys, yeah. and they're like, hey, you want a job, let's come in, because that's the people you surround yourself yeah. with. Well, and when they leave, they usually already have somebody in mind. Yeah. Say, hey, so and so is looking for a job. Yeah. And race to like find that's Perfect. that's the person we're looking for. Perfect. Absolutely. Um, so okay. Well, I guess I guess you know that we got a we got a word from Fast. Um, and uh, you know, check out it's fastco.com. 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 Buy some Kula Connection handguard uh, mounts uh, that we help design. Um, and uh, just check them out because they support off road. So you guys should support, support should support them as well. So thank you very much. And. Uh, We'll see you later. Thank you.